an interesting picture on page nine of Siasa 2017 uh, on the standard. And uh, on page nine, I think this is a picture that we, we, yeah, we, sh we can have we can have on the screen. Mm. And we have a one Ababu Namamba saying, hello, Mr. Mr. President. President. And um, Michael, this is a picture that was un unimaginable a, a few years ago. You, you remember um, Ababu Namamba coming on media to say that his blood, his DNA, is anti-jubilee. Mm -hmm. No, that, that his, his very existence is... is op I mean, is, this began is, from his swearing in. You know, yes. He was and, the and that, To see this kind of turnaround, and of course, I heard him spinning it yesterday, saying that he has not endorsed anybody, that he, he has his own outfit, and he is a leader of a party. It's only that his party is supporting the president. I do not know that that is a story that is well, going to sell with the difference between Olympic? his party supporting and, the president and, and him supporting his president? And we've seen a lot of president. opposition yeah. uh, towards the similar people. As, uh, the likes of um, uh, Martha Karua has tried, Peter Kenneth has tried to retain their own parties but still yeah. support yeah. Um, yeah. the president. But yeah. uh, there's one time when they went to address a public rally and the, the crowd was booing yeah. um, Martha Karua. They were like, no, we won't listen to you yeah. until, until you, you, you dissolve you your get, party. Yeah, you what, what, what I also ask myself when I see something like this is, what do they take Kenyans for? for. Because Good at question. the end of the day, you, well, swear with mm. Raila's name when mm. you're being sworn into mm. office mm. because you do not recognize mm. uh, Uhuru as the president, according to Ababu mm. Namwamba. Mm. Then, before we can even forget, here you are, yes, Mr. President. Mm. Remember when he also um, quit as Secretary General of yeah. ODM, yeah. he swore and said that he is going to be the third force, whatever yes. that meant. Yes. Then it seems like he has counted his, um, his losses and decided, and decided that, to go to the first. Yeah, <laughs> the third option may not work. So let me join. If you can't beat them, join, join them. them. Join them. And right. on the same page, the, the, the headline on the same page, Jubilee Paul Board Chair faces pressure to quit office. You remember Michael, me uh, raising issues about Uhuru claiming that he is going to go on an integrity purge when it comes to Jubilee nominations. This is an embarrassment. And I told you that don't, I, I don't think that you can mention Jubilee and integrity in, in the same in the, same, in the same sentence. So the guys who are supposed to be vetting are themselves now having problems yeah, because I don't know, I like apparently, it's, it's, yeah. it's political parties and nominations. Yeah, apparently the, the guy, the chairman of, of the recently unveiled elections board has issues with outstanding disciplinary issues with LSK. Mm. And, and we said, if we were to strictly adhere to chapter six of the constitution, None of these people would we'll qualify to be in office. Mm. Absolutely none of them. There you go. So if the yes. chair is having to leave office because of integrity but, issues, yes. that lets you know. Although one might argue and say that uh, the fact that they're cleaning up so he has to leave yes. and cannot uh, over, for, oversee the, you know, the, 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 the party's nominations. Yeah. Um, I like the phrase, the fact that we are cleaning up. The fact that you are cleaning up means that we have let that accumulate for a very long time, mm -hmm. and we watched it accumulate. But it's going to start... Now we are trying to... Unfortunately, it cannot start at a time when politicians are competing for office. Politics is about timing. Politics is about strategy. There's no love lost for me and Jubilee. But sometimes when I see the kind of things they're doing, I just wonder, who advises these people? Mm -hmm. There are certain things that you do not do when you are in politics. And this is one of them. Yeah. And that is number one. Number two, I have said very strongly that the last people who should tell us about integrity and who should tell us about ethics and morality and about being clean before you run for office, the last people who should make that argument is Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Is it Uhuru Kenyatta <laughs> and William Ruto? Is it politicians? Uh, 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 they are at the top of the hierarchy. In 2013, they said it doesn't matter what you have been indicted for, let the people decide. I do not think that there's anything that has changed between then and now. So if it was good for them, it is good for Michael. All right.